हेलो एवरीवन आई एम शिल्पा शर्मा लेक्चरर ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डिपार्टमेंट सिमिच कॉलेज पटना द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज डिसीजन मेकिंग नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द एनवायरमेंट फर्स्ट इन व्हिच द बिजनेस इज ऑपरेटिंग दीस डेज द बिजनेस टुडे इज ऑपरेटिंग इन अ हाईली डायनामिक एनवायरमेंट highly dynamic means something which keeps on changing every now and then if the business environment keeps on changing so likewise you need to bring about changes inside your organization in various forms in order to cater to that threat decision making is one of those management functions in which we make decisions the managers make decisions in the words of peter drucker if we say peter drucker says that whatever a manager does he does by decision making and this is right also because at various levels be it at the lower level of management be it at the higher level of management decision making is the thing by which a manager is taking decisions now there are some characteristic features of decision making for example when do we do decision when do we take a decision when do we do decision making we do it when we have more than one alternative to come out as a result isn't it so some problem which does not have alternatives is not really something that requires decision making though the problem can be seriously injurious but still if we talk about decision making we can say that there are certain characteristic features of decision making some of which are that the decision making involves choosing between one or more alternative the decision making is goal oriented which means that by taking decision you want some goal to be achieved the manager wants some goal to be achieved then decision making is not always rational why may not be always rational why because human is involved and with human sometimes the decisions can be influenced by emotions so sometimes the decisions which are made might not be rational more than one alternative is involved if not involved that is not necessarily going to be called a decision and it has to be goal oriented now there are two broad categories of decisions that we take in an organization one is the programmed decision and the other one is the non programmed decisions programmed decisions as the name suggests is something which happens repeatedly which is recurrent in its nature something whose frequency is more for example an hr manager who sanctions a leave now this is a regular feature in the organization that people would be needing uh, leaves for fulfilling their own purposes purchase of raw material now purchase of raw material is is also something which happens at regular basis in the organization supply of finished goods so like these there are some programmed decisions which are generally repetitive in nature which are definitely repetitive in nature and which are generally taken by the lower level managers but if we talk about non programmed decision these are those decisions which do not happen at regular basis these decisions are non frequent in nature and mostly taken by the higher level managers also one important marked characteristic feature of non programmed decision is that these decisions have a long term consequence for the organization say for example mergers and acquisitions say for example launching a new product in the market opening a new store etc thank you